My name is Alex, and I travel across the country with my cat and my FJ Cruiser. Last week, I shared some of the minor changes I made to the RV that had a big effect on the overall look. This week, Shadow and I are driving through Yellowstone and going to the Grand Tetons for the very first time. Before heading to Yellowstone, Kevin and I were staying on a ranch in Matitsi, Wyoming. So we drove up from there to Cody and then took what I believe is a northern entrance into Yellowstone and then down into the Grand Tetons. To be perfectly honest, I wasn't all that impressed with the drive into Yellowstone and I know I'm going to be kicked in the face for that, but just my opinion. I did, however, find this lake to be incredibly impressive, but the most fascinating thing I encountered on my way there was this random building on a hill. I have no idea what it is. I would love to know if anybody has seen this and knows what it is. Please tell me. But of course, then I crossed into Yellowstone and the first thing I had to do was look for a gas station, which thankfully there's a ton of them inside Yellowstone, or at least enough for me to find one easily. Samson is a lovely boy, but a thirsty boy, so I have to keep him fed. It did start raining, which was a little nerve wracking. You know, the roads are curvy and I have never towed in the rain prior to this day because, well, you know, I RV in the desert and it doesn't really rain there. So as full disclaimer, I actually did not fill my tanks before parking, which is going to make what I did next seem twice as stupid and maybe you'll even feel a little bit sorry for me. So here's what happened. I get to the camping spot and I realize it's a one-way street, they say, and the camping spot's on the opposite side for me to get in. Makes no sense. So I cut across through Kevin's empty spot and decide to just make a turn. Well, the FJ made the turn, but the trailer can't. And so I had to back up and try again. But you can see the angle the trailer is turning on because I don't have enough space to move forward it was a disaster. And I actually almost jackknifed the truck and the trailer. But eventually I figured out, filled up and parked again. One of the questions I get really often is whether or not Shadow ever tries to jump out of the camper. So after I put him inside, you can see he's, you know, poking his head out. He's curious. He wants to know what's out there. But the door is open. The screen door is open. He realizes I'm on the other side of the RV and he still has no interest in coming outside. This was one of two trips I took to the Tetons while staying in Wyoming and I was only spending the night so I only put my jacks down and stayed hooked up but I did do my usual OCD cleaning. If you're wondering why I have two toilets, one is a composting toilet for when I'm off grid and because I have the space I decided to keep both toilets. Then Kevin came by to help me set up my hammock. So you clip one side in and then watch. Put that in your pocket. Or you got two arms, so you can do it that way. Sadly, the straps are too short, but Kevin had an extra pair of extensions, so I borrowed those from him. One of my favorite things about traveling on the road is just opening up the world for Shadow, who, even though he only experiences it all through a window or a door or the FJ Cruiser, he is still fascinated by everything outside. Kevin has a running joke that I am easily amused but difficult to impress, but this is definitely one of those instances when I was very impressed by what I was looking at. I don't know what I expected when I thought of the Grand Tetons, but Decepticon looking mountains on Earth was not what I had in mind and you know the pictures the videos none of that does it justice you have to see the Grand Tetons at sunset from Culture Bay I then had my last night in 
the Grand Tetons, and the following morning, it was time to head out. Next week, I'll share what it was like to leave the Grand Tetons for the complete opposite in southwestern Wyoming, where I basically went from lakes and mountains and trees to the desert. <laughs> it was beautiful, but it was one heck of a change. I also want to share that I launched my Patreon recently. I do spend a lot of time trying to diversify the outdoors, get more people of color and women traveling by themselves to feel more empowered to be outside and just ignore all the hate that we sometimes get. So if you want to support, that would be great. I'll leave a link below and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.